Amal Clooney looked simply stunning as she arrived at Meghan Markle's star-studded baby shower in New York City on Wednesday. Amal, 41, didn't let the freezing cold temperatures stop her from making a style statement in a bold scarlet Sergio Hudson strapless jumpsuit and gold heels. The wife of George Clooney was seen arriving at the Mark Hotel on the Upper East Side with a black jacket draped over her shoulders. The human rights lawyer is said to be co-hosting the penthouse party for the seven months pregnant Duchess along with Serena Williams. Amal arrived at the baby shower venue at around the same time as Meghan's close friend and unofficial stylist Jessica Moroni. Meghan's former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer was the first guest to arrive at the hotel however and was followed closely by the Duchess's makeup artist Daniel Martin. There are thought to be around 15 guests attending the baby shower which is being held in the grand penthouse suite of the hotel which costs $75,000 a night. It is not known whether Meghan has been staying in the penthouse for her entire trip, which began on Friday when she flew in from London after spending Valentine's Day with her husband Prince Harry. Described by the hotel as a castle in the sky, the 10,000 square feet suite boasts every luxury, including a 2,500 square feet rooftop terrace overlooking Central Park, five bedrooms, four fireplaces, six bathrooms, two powder rooms, two wet bars a dining room, a conservatory, and a living room that can be transformed into a full-size grand ballroom if desired by guests. Amal married movie star George in 2014 and the couple welcomed twins Ella and Alexander in June 2017. George, 57, recently spoke out about Meghan, claiming the Duchess is being pursued and vilified. She's a woman who is seven months pregnant and she is being pursued and vilified and chased in the same way that Diana was, and it's history repeating itself. And we've seen how that ends. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to see that. George made the comments as he spoke at the Television Critics Association's winter press tour at the Langham Huntington, California, earlier this month.